Brian Seifried in Chicago with the morning grain news. Well, we've got a mixed trade with beans up about three cents, corn unchanged, and wheat down about three cents. Stock market's about unchanged. The dollar's a little bit lower, crude's a little bit lower. Um, we have the CPI data, which will give the uh, market more information about where inflation is. Yesterday's PPI data suggested that inflation was slowing. Um, we, uh, in the grains, funds have sold about 22,000 contracts of beans since the USDA report, putting us down to a low overnight of 940. Some people think 920 is support until we know more about our crop and uh, what the farmer's going to do as far as selling is concerned, how much China's going to buy in the long term, what South American crop's going to be in 2025. USDA did announce 132,000 tons of new crop being sold to China. We're still well behind new crop sales versus normal. The um, South America, Brazil bean premiums are lower. Uh, while the meal premiums are higher, and continued weakness in the dollar on beans, meal, soybean oil, and uh, palm oil prices. Over the corn, uh, again, we're dealing with the fact that while the USDA raised a record corn yield, they did lower acres, and that uh, a higher export number offset some of the increase in supply. U.S. corn prices export are cheapest versus Ukraine and Brazil. And uh, we did see Mexico announce 137,000 tons of new crop sales. But uh, again, um, the farmer here in the U.S. has a lot of corn to sell from 2023 and has not really sold a lot of 2024 corn. I think the Farmer selling will provide uh, the low for uh, this crop season. In the wheat market, kind of a mixed bag. Um, I think U.S. wheat prices are trying to adjust to the USDA numbers with tighter spring wheat numbers and looser hard red winter wheat numbers. We're also noting that um, U.S. prices may be trying to find export demand. Uh, Black Sea continues to offer wheat uh, while their continued dryness offers some concern about their spring crops. Um, Egypt bought a little bit of uh, Black Sea wheat and also some Bulgarian wheat, but there are rumors they're trying to negotiate some long-term large package of purchases uh, from the Black Sea. The wheat market is kind of uh, floundering around um, in a trading range. So we'll see what uh, CPI data suggests financial markets are going to do. We'll be watching the dollar and see if it continues to slide lower. And then uh, we'll be watching uh, weather. Um, right now you're seeing some scattered showers across the Midwest favoring southwest Iowa and Missouri. Six to ten day looks to be drier and cooler while the 18-14 day is also drier and cooler.